guys, it's Caitlin. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome. So in today's video... Shit. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something that I've never done before. Um, I'm going to be doing a little cooking with Caitlin. Um... I'm not gonna call it that though. I know a lot of people do cooking with blank videos and like cook with me videos. So I thought that I would do that, but put a little twist on it. So what we're gonna be doing today is making steak and creme brulee, but I will not be using fire, a grill, a stove, an oven, or any of the normal things that people use to cook steak, but we'll get to her in a second. I feel like this video is already gonna be kind of long, so we're just gonna jump right into her. We're gonna start with the creme brulee because the creme brulee is gonna take about seven hours or so to cool and it's currently 546 sorry to disappoint I don't have any cute like see-through dishes um probably should have done that before I filmed the video but you get what you get and I get Walmart dollar bowls so first step is to take two-thirds cup of sugar and oh by the way I'm referencing what English why don't I know English I'm referencing um binging with Babish this is YouTube video. He makes a lot of cooking videos and this one was really funny. It wasn't just like a serious cooking video. There was like a lot. I don't, just go watch it. I'll link it down below. I'm referencing his video because I don't know how to make this shit. So the first thing that Mr. Babish or Babish does is he takes two thirds cup of granulated sugar and mixes it with a vanilla bean. I don't have, I'm, I'm not fancy. So I don't have a food processor, I don't have an actual vanilla bean to cut open and like extract for you. So I bought vanilla extract. I don't know how mixing liquid with powder is going to go, but remember it's our first time so we don't care for mistakes, right? So two thirds cup of sugar. Can you see her? Okay. Oh, I, I easily, why did I not just scoop? That was so dumb. It's two thirds cup of that. And then he didn't say how much vanilla extra, well he didn't use vanilla extract, that's why. He used like two full vanilla beans, so I don't know what the equivalent, I'm not good at conversions. So I'm just gonna eyeball it because it's my food anyways. Oh yeah, I shouldn't mix this together. It literally it did exactly what I think it was gonna do. You don't mix liquid with solids. Okay, so we're just gonna try to work with it because I don't give up. Okay, see, not bad. She's blended. I could be a chef. This is easy. There's literally something in my. No, 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 no. No fire alarms. So he was going for a very vanilla based. Uh, sugar because he said that's what tastes best in his opinion so we're just going to add a little bit more vanilla since we now know that it actually blends after you mix the vanilla sugar and the vanilla extract or the vanilla bean you know depending on your resources and how fancy you are I'm doing everything uh, the cheap easy way now you're gonna make now you're gonna mix two cups of heavy cream <laughs> Raindrop drop top. And then, I feel like he blended this in, but we have to stir it, see how this goes. I'm honestly kind of worried. I feel like this is gonna go bad. Hang on, I gotta watch this video, because I don't think I'm doing this right. I literally just started. This is already, this, what? This is already ridiculous. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, hang on, go back. What are you doing? We're making, going to add two cups of heavy cream, and whether you, that bullshit that Christmas present your nephew gave oh. you, and the measure out. Ah! Okay, I'm missing steps. Okay, ah! Ugh. We're gonna take this, and give her medium heat, and sauce her up a little bit. Okay, okay. So now we're just gonna douse this into the pan and let her come to a little sim sim simmer and then as soon as that starts to simmer you want to take her off because we don't want to harm her we want to keep her safe don't want to burn her you know 
be nice. So I'm gonna carefully wash that um, because knowing me, I'm gonna burn the shit out of it. Oh my god, I need to be prepping. I did, I forgot. Oh my god, I have so many steps. I'm not ready for. To my little um, measuring cup and we're gonna put that aside for 15 minutes so she gets room temp. While that sets aside you're gonna grab a bowl and a dish and you're gonna hand pick out some egg yolks. I'm gonna crack six eggs into this bowl. Chick chick. Crack. Dude, my yo I can't show you because it'll get worse, but my yolk broke. All right, I'm just gonna. Oh, wait, no, he did this the opposite way. He cracked it on the plate and then put it in the bowl. I'm cracking it on the bowl and I'm putting it on the plate. We don't give up. Oh, these ones are good. We have to hang on. You, you can't see. I'm trying to finger out the. Well, Bad choice of wording. I'm trying to get out the um, the egg whites. Okay, honey, you're gonna have to let go of your mom. Come on, bitch. Come on, work with me. Here we go. We're cooking with gas now, boys. So cute. Where's my Julio? Where's my Julio? Where's my Julio? I found my Julio. A gentle simmer over medium, medium low heat. And as soon as it starts simmering, take it off the heat. We don't want to scorch this. We don't want to overcook it. We're not going to strain it. Of course, we need eggs. Six. I'll cut my little chicken. So, oh, bad pun. Didn't even really realize I was holding egg yolks and I called you chickens. I'm sorry. Oh, Illuminati, look at this shit. Oh my God. Wait. Mm. -na -na -na. So obviously I got my six egg yolks out and now we have eight minutes until she's down to room t oh girl she is not room temperature. She's still spicy hot. Mmm, that's gonna be a good custard. Mmm. Chef K Quinn. Chef Kathleen. Chef Kathleen. Chef Chef Kathleen, Chef Kathleen, Chef Kathleen. All right, so while we're waiting for that to chill for a couple more minutes, we're just gonna do a little whiskey whisk of our egg yolks and get them all, you know, whisked. Okay, so our custard is sitting out to get room temperature for six more minutes. Egg yolks are yoked. <laughs> I hate myself. So once the custard starts to cool, we will start on the steaks and you guys will see how I'm gonna cook that. Since there's only a couple minutes left, go ahead and grab a dish such as this one. And go ahead and boil some, okay, as anybody's doing this with me. Boil some water, about two to three cups. Three, just to be sure, but you can do two if you're risky. Okay, my water's almost boiled, and now I'm going to take a... Um, any towel that you probably don't care about. And I'm gonna dunk it in the boiling water, even though that's not what he did, not the smartest way to do it. But you have to get a really hot towel to put in the bottom of this thing. This is very dangerous. I do not recommend doing this at home. I don't know how I'm going to get this out. Oh, that water's not that hot. I mean, it's hot. Hot, Okay, hot, motherfucker, hot. Oh, oh shit, the fuck, oh, oh, oh. Line your dish with your towel. I feel like this is not safe to put in the oven, but he did it, so. 
I don't know. So now you're gonna grab your little custard mixture and your egg yolks and mix those. To, oh shit, I'm supposed to be whisking these together. Hang on. Slowly whisk those together. So now you're gonna take your dishes, preferably be, okay, what is up with my English? Take some dishes, preferably ones that you removed the stickers from. I'm trying to find dishes like circular, but bigger and not glass because I don't know if I can bake these, but we're going to because like I said, I don't follow rules and I am already almost burnt my house down once in this video. So, you know, might as well just go slow. Put you right down here. Oh. Perfect, we love this. Okay, Martha Stewart who? I'm actually gonna move <laughs> this tiny bowl into a bigger bowl so it's easier for me to pour it all in. Yeah, ooh, ASMR. So just kind of drip these into the thing. The guy said try to fill them almost all the way full because it'll make it easier when you torch them later. Why do I feel like I don't have enough liquid for all of these dishes? Oh God, Lord work with me. Work with me, Jesus. Give me enough. Get, oh, freaking yeah, dude. Cooking with bacon grease, boys. We're gonna grab our pot of boiling water, grab our funnel, place it right here, and we're gonna funnel in, um, he said about, oh my God, Coda, watch out, watch out, puppy. There's boiling water going on the ground. About two thirds of the way. Oh, <gasps> it's going into my thing, isn't it? Oh my God, this is not good. Maybe I should take this one out and then... Okay, try again. About two thirds of the way full of water. So I just put the custard things in the oven and then I'm going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes, probably less since my things are so small, but you wanna bake them until they are at about 175 degrees. Okay, so those are still baking, but honestly, I'm freaking starving, so we're gonna go ahead and make our steaks. What we're going to be using is a handy dandy toaster. I know you're thinking, what the fuck? But I've seen this done before on either Try Guys or BuzzFeed. I'm so sorry if I don't know which one. I should just look it up, but I'm lazy. So I know that it maybe it could work. It could work. I have two ribeyes right here. I'm going to season them. Uh, barely because I'm nervous about, I just, this already is a bad idea. So I don't, I don't want to accelerate any of it. Salt. Beat my meat real quick. Little pepper. Salt and pepper on here. So I have my steak in my little stir. And honestly, frick it, dude. We're just gonna go for um doing it. Okay, and we're back five seconds later. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's smoking like a barbecue up in here. Oh, just in case. Okay, little update. She's still smoking, but can you see? She's a little bit cooked. So I'm gonna put her in again for another little round. This is, <gasps> this is exciting. So I'm going for a medium rare vibe. This is probably really bad for my health. Okay, so I feel like it's almost there. There's still one really uncooked part over here. So we're gonna try to scoot it over a little bit and then we'll do it one more time. <gasps> That's scary every time. Okay, so I'm gonna unplug this side of here first. And we're gonna take it out. Oh my God, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. This is so stupid, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Okay, so we have our <laughs> that we cooked in the toaster. I know she's dripping juice everywhere, but that's okay. So we're gonna cut into our steak and see what it looks like. Oh, this is so, oh, okay, not bad. There's like a couple, there's like one piece that's a little bit too pink, but that's okay. Not bad. I mean, she's pretty tender. Let's see, um, kind of look like, I mean, a decent color.
Honestly? Not bad, dude. I did get super, super cheap ribeyes because if it didn't work, I didn't want to waste $4 on steak. So that's probably why I taste a little bit off, but relatively, it tastes the same as... Okay, I don't want to say that because someone's going to go home and do this and be like, bitch, you have no palate because that does not taste anything like steak. Quite a bear. Come here. Up, up, up. Thank you. Woo! Okay, so I bone apple tittied my steak, even though it doesn't look like it, but I just don't eat the fat. It looks like our little creme brulees are ready to take out of the oven, so get on your safety gloves and rip these bad boys out very carefully and place onto the counter where they should not be placed. So your creme brulees should be at a consistency that jiggles. Oh wait, wait, why are they not? Okay, yeah, you see how they're, why can my, mine are, my, mine aren't jiggling. Okay, yes they are. So they're jiggling a little bit. Um, what we're gonna do now, we're just going to leave them out for 45 minutes. Room temp, baby. It's already 7.30 and they have to cool for 45 minutes and then go in the fridge for four hours. So do you even wanna see that or should I just... Okay, I'm just gonna uh, let these cool for 45 minutes out room temperature and then I'm gonna wrap them in parchment paper and then put them in the fridge for four hours and then I'll see you. So I will see you back at um, midnight, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. So it is now um, 11.23 p.m. You can see I still have like 44 minutes on my timer, but I'm tired. I did a little toothpick test on the creme brulee and it honestly looks like it's ready to come out anyways. So even though they do say you should leave it like for the best results overnight, but it looks fine. We're gonna move you down a little bit so you can get the full view of what's going on. I have a torch here and we're just going to uh, attempt this. Um, don't try this at home. He said, you can put it in the oven and like broil it. And he said that torching takes some practice, but I'm a pro, so you know, not too worried about it. Oh my god, things are happening. Oh, they're burning. Okay, we had a little bit of a fire. Dude, okay. Now is the time where I'm getting sad. I really thought this was going good, but. Kind of turning into a hot mess. Okay, mine kind of look more like muffins. Uh, <laughs> like, why do I film videos like this? I'm I'm a royal fucking idiot. I'm not gonna talk about it. We're going to um, place these in the fridge. We're gonna let them cool down and we're gonna taste test them in like 30 minutes. What the fuck ever. <laughs> Tell y'all I have weird sneezes. Okay, so I'm an idiot part like 1,000,274. So I messed up, um, again. I took the dishes out of the refrigerator and I torched them as is. I forgot to put the stuff on top and then torch it. Probably not gonna make a difference, but it's worth a shot. By the way, before I started filming this video, um, I knew I shouldn't have bought plastic cups because it's not safe to torch them nor to bake them probably. But you know, we all die in one way or another. So if mine's buying plastic, then yeah. I'm just gonna take a bunch of sugar because he did and put it all on the top of that and then spread it all around. Okay, add a little bit more for pleasure. Ooh, she's thick. Okay, now we're gonna do this again even though it's not safe. Okay, different things are happening. Oh my god, wait. Am I making creme brulee this time? Wow, you know what's crazy? If I would have just reread my directions, I would have done this and I would have messed up and I would have had six perfect creme brulees and instead I'm going to have two. Because I incorrectly torched the first three and then I got sad and went and ate a bowl of custard. So, did you just see that catch on fire? That's called don't cook in plastic things. Oh my god, I'm sure there's so many people cringing at like, oh my god, you're gonna die. Yep, you're right, one day. Okay, so here's the one that I did with the correct sugar, and then here's the one I did without anything. Now we're gonna, oh wait, it's moving. Well, 
We'll see. We're gonna wait a little bit longer and maybe now I'll get it right. <laughs> okay, so it is 12.20 and they've been sitting for a while and I think it's time for the final test taste to decide if I am Chef Kathleen or not, okay? Um, so the ones that I accidentally torched before putting the sugar on are just burnt um, <laughs> because I forgot to put the sugar on. But the one that I did successfully get actually kind of sounds like creme brulee. That's it. Mmm. Okay. So I can make creme brulee. There are a few things I would do different next time, um, such as letting them cool overnight as opposed to like four hours, using glass dishes and putting sugar on all of them so I'm not left with just two. But overall, that was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely gonna make another one of these, but I think I'm gonna try to make pizza from scratch because it's kind of like a family tradition of mine. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a giant thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below any video ideas that you would like to see that I don't do already. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.